Always a great day when we get to spend a few minutes with our attorney friend Gary Massey from Massey Attorneys. Gary, good morning. Good morning. I want to begin with these charges against Representative Robin Smith, um, allegedly involved in wire fraud. Mm -hmm. Tell us exactly what wire fraud is. Well, wire fraud is two different things. It's wire. It's it's fraud that involves the bank, use of the banking system. And mm -hmm. so the wire part of it talks about transferring money through the federal banking system. The, the federal government provides and regulates a banking system. And so when money moves from one bank to another, that moves through a, a, you know, a computer system, which is the wire part of it. And then fraud is you've done something to, you know, to take money illegally. You've cheated somebody, you've somehow tricked somebody into paying money, or you've done something deceitfully to hide it from the government, or something like that, some sort of deceptive activity involving the banking system and that makes it a federal crime makes it wire fraud and this has to be intentional correct knowing that you're doing something wrong it it has to be intentional but you don't have to have a deep understanding of the law you all you have to have an understanding of is you're doing something uh, deceptive right you don't have to realize that you're breaking a federal law we've all heard the expression ignorance of the law is no excuse it's no excuse what translates into an interstate wire fraud well an interstate wire fraud is is very simple um, it just it involves people or money in two different states so if you know you have a bank in Georgia transfer money to a bank in Tennessee or in this case maybe Arizona or New Mexico or something mm -hmm. like that is where this business was set up but apparently the entire business was sort of fraudulent and it, it sounds like a money laundering situation where they're acting like they're paying for campaign work where really they're just paying money out of a campaign from donations to a, a fraudulent business to then pay themselves money uh, and so that's that's a you know a way of stealing money and you know turning campaign donations into personal gain. And in cases like that, rarely are taxes paid on money like that. I would think. Um, at what point? It's usually done FBI, through reimbursement. Yeah. yeah. Sure. At it's, what point does the FBI get involved in something like that? When it's a wire fraud of any sort? Well, they you know they don't get involved in every wire fraud, but they can. If you commit fraud and it uses the banking system, mail fraud, same thing. You'd commit any kind of fraud and it uses the mail system that makes it a federal crime and so they can get involved in that but they're also involved in political corruption so even small-time local political corruption is a federal offense there are federal laws you know regulating all types of political officials and elected officials uh, and so they're in this case apparently uh, on two different for two different reasons you know two different bases making it a federal issue while most of us probably have never done a wire transfer, either sending it or receiving it, are there any signals to look out for for companies when it pertains to wire transfers? Well, you always want to be very careful about who you're wiring money to because you you know you see stories and hear things about people being defrauded out of money you know somebody needs help in a foreign country and you're going to send them money you know and so they'll ask you to wire money to a certain account and things like that you need to make extra special careful that you know who you're sending it to you know and sometimes wire transfers happen when real estate deals and stuff like that it's very common for that money to get transferred through the wiring system um, but you want to make double sure that you're dealing with a bank that you trust and people that you have verified their identity and if you think this doesn't happen check out the many documentary series inventing anna It'll open up your eyes. Yeah. It's Inventing Anna. Gary, thank you very much for joining us. You can get in touch with Gary and find out all the legal services they have to offer at Massey & Associates. There they are, the website MasseyAttorneys.com. Again, MasseyAttorneys.com.